Hi, my name is Austin. I'm the CAM Application Engineer for GSC. Today we're going to go over a brief introduction to NestingWorks, which is CAMWorks' complete nesting solution by laying out this wooden model for a laser cutter. Just like CAMWorks and SOLIDWORKS CAM, NestingWorks lives entirely within the SOLIDWORKS interface. To activate the NestingWorks module, simply go to your add-in list and click the left checkbox. You can see NestingWorks has a nice clean interface that flows perfectly with the SOLIDWORKS layout. If you're in the sheet metal industry, NestingWorks can unbend all your parts automatically before nesting, saving you precious time. In this case, we're just going to start a new nesting job. Since we're working with an assembly, it prompts us to select the parts we want to add. In this case, we'll select all the parts, but if we had hardware or other pieces we didn't want to include, we have that option. That brings up the Create Nesting Job Wizard. The first tab, Part Data, allows you to set the specific requirements for the part level, including thicknesses, quantities, and grain directions. You can also see there are columns for rotation type and angle. When NestingWorks is searching for the ideal solution, it will turn each part by these selected values to find the optimal placement. Having a smaller angle value allows CAMWorks more flexibility, but the solutions do take a proportionately larger amount of time. Unlike some other nesting programs in the market that simply draw a square around a part, NestingWorks uses a true part shape to maximize material usage and even nest parts inside the cavities of other part openings. The next tab, Sheet Data, allows you to define your starting material. You can see the standard sheet sizes are available from the drop down menu. In my case, the laser cutter has a maximum size of 24 by 18 inches, so I'll enter that under the custom option. I'm going to skip over the multi head options, but know if you have one of those cutters, you can do proper groupings and go right to the options tab. I'll set it so the parts are no closer than one eighth of an inch from each other and one quarter inch from the stock edge. When I click Preview Nest, that'll get the nesting works gears turning and it'll begin its computations. We can see the results pop up pretty quickly and we can see what our result will look like. In this case, I can see we have a lot more room to work with, so let's pop out a couple more of these models. By hitting Cancel, the nesting job wizard comes back up and I can go into the part data and change the quantities. In this case, let's see if we can fit five of these cars. I have another sheet of 1 8 inch birch lying around, so let's update the sheet quantity to two and run the calculations again. After it's done with the nesting job, we can again see a preview of the results. This is sheet one, and on the drop down menu, we can select the second sheet and preview it as well. If we use an external program to actually run the cutter, you can export these results directly as a DXF file, but I use cameras to control my laser, so let's generate a SOLIDWORKS assembly. NestingWorks automatically generates a report that details the results of its operations. In this, we can see a report of the total number of parts nested and the percentage of material utilized. We can also see the same information for each individual sheet. Since NestingWorks is intuitively linked with CAMWorks, our stock manager has already been programmed with a sketch definition and the part thickness defined. To look at the second sheet results, we can go to the SOLIDWORKS configuration tree and find it in the list. Using configurations allows us to easily transfer the programming data from one sheet to another using CAMWorks configuration options. From here, you just program the cutter using your normal workflow. To summarize what we've done in the last couple of minutes, we started with a complete SOLIDWORKS assembly, launched our NestingWorks add-in, viewed the nested results, changed the number of parts and stock sheets available, and then created an optimized layout. With those results, we've then created a SOLIDWORKS assembly with two separate configurations, each ready to perform machining operations. Without this handy piece of software, the results would have taken hours to achieve with less accuracy and more waste of material. For more information on any of the programs you've seen here, including CAMWorks and NestingWorks, contact us at GSC and we'll be glad to help. Thank you and goodbye.